hi in this video we are going to see a question of fluid dynamics okay and this question is from hc verma book question number 20 okay question number 20 from chapter 14 okay so the question is the lower end of a capillary tube is immersed in mercury the level of mercury in the tube is find, found to be 2 cm below the outer level. If the same tube is immersed in water, up to what height will the water rise in the capillary? Okay. So, did you get the question? Question the, is very easy. Okay. Uh, okay. So, let's go for the solution. So, you can see here there is a tube. There is a container filled with any liquid okay in first case it is mercury in the other case it is water right so here it is water here it is mercury okay so there is a tube okay when we insert this tube in mercury it the level will go down by two centimeter but in water the level will go up okay so they asked how much it will go assume it is h1 and it is h2 okay so they are asking about the height 2 so as we know h1 equals to minus 2 centimeter because it has gone down and we have to find h2 okay and there is no information in this question regarding the tension the contact angle other things so we have to take this information from this book otherwise you are unable to do this question okay okay so now we know that tension of mercury with respect to glass is 4.65 newton per meter and same for the water is equals to 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 newton per meter and here it is a uh, some error okay so it is actually 4.65 into 10 to the power minus 1 newton per meter and the contact angle the theta here is 135 degree and here theta in the book is given is 0 degree okay so now moving forward we know the radius of capillary will be same for this one r1 and r2 is same right because we are going to say use same capillary okay and rho of mercury is 13.6 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube and rho of water is 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube okay so we have to go we are going to use just a simple formula that rho g h equals to 2 t cos theta by radius of the capillary so this is for all capillary all capillary right and here rho is the density of fluid g is gravity h is height t is tension and theta is contact angle so we know every every information about these two cases here right so now now we are going to use this all numerical value only so as we know rho g rho g h equals to 2t cos theta y r we know that okay so for the first case rho hg g into h1 equals to 2 hg cos theta 1 by r right and for the other one rho water g into h2 equals to 2 t water cos theta 2 by r right now we are going to take ratio okay so this will go this will go gg cancel so now we know h1 by h2 right so we can write it as h1 by h2 equals to t hg cos theta 1 
rho of water by Tw cos theta 2 and rho of mercury okay now we know that theta 2 is 0 degree and theta 1 is 135 degree before go doing this we just inverse it so h2 by h1 equals to tw cos theta 2 rho hg thg cos theta 1 rho w now just put the value so putting the value and we know that for the water it is 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 and here theta 2 is 1 degree uh, 0 degree sorry so cos 0 h 1 into rho h g we know 13.6 into 10 to the power 3 d h g that is 4.65 into 10 to the power minus 1 everything is in SI unit and cos 135 degree rho water 10 to the power 3 so just solving it and we know that cos 135 degree is equals to minus 1 by root 2 so we have to put it here right so we know that s2 y h1 now becomes 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 13.6 4.65 into 10 to the power minus 1 into minus 1 by root 2 right and we know that h1 here is minus 2 centimeter so after solving this we have to just do h2 equals to minus 2 into this thing 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 13.6 divided by 4.6 into 10 to the power minus 1 into minus 1 by root 2 so minus minus got cancelled and if you solve it you will get height is equals to approximately 6.2 centimeter but in the answer of hc verma book you will find answer given is answer given in book is 5.2 7 3 centimeter so there is a difference in the height so you are thinking that might be i went wrong no i haven't went wrong so what happened actually actually in the sum book you will find that the contact angle theta 1 okay contact angle of hg with glass is actually 140 degree okay and in this question i have taken 135 degree as in the book the, in a lot of time they mention the contact angle of mercury with glass is 135 degree so we use that part so we we are getting 6.2 centimeter as answer but if we use theta 1 is 140 degree what we will get is so the formula will be same every step will be the same only in the last step you just replace with the value of theta 145 degree with 140 right so you will get h2 is equals to minus 2 centimeter into let me say 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 okay into 13.6 divided by 4.65 into 10 to the power minus 1 into cos 145 degree okay so if you solve this using the calculator you will found that the answer is approximately 5.726 centimeter right so when you do more approximation you can say that it is 5.73 centimeter correct so you saw that in the book the answer given is also 5.73 centimeter so we can say that we haven't done anything wrong just the information is not given so few people will take theta that is contact angle 135 degree and other will take uh, 140 degree so this is the answer thanks for the watching